everyone, Goku999 here in GW1. And um, if you remember, she got a YouTube account from the video that we did together. And where, I'm not Blondie Zero anymore yeah. in GW1. Yeah, where we updated my Sonic collection and every other collection I have. And we showed you like the Chaos Emeralds and stuff. So, but we're not talking about that in this video. We're going to be showing you a Chow Showcase. Which we haven't done in a while. Yeah. We haven't done a Clay Chow Showcase since before she got her new account. So, yeah. I hope you guys like this one. And, yeah. Let's get started with this. Okay. So, the first Chow is one that I made. And, oh, we're doing it in a different way. We used to show my chow, and then we'd show GW ones, but right yeah. now... We're just doing every other one yeah. is ours. So. so, like, mine is the first one, and then hers is the second one. And, and then in that pattern. So on. So, here's mine, and it's a utensils chow with ice cream. And the scoop in the back of the head. Yeah. So, the head is... A ball of vanilla ice cream and there's a scoop on the back of the head and that's what's holding up the little dot and then that's the eyes and the mouth and then the arms are forks and the body is um orange I think it would be like orange sherbet that's a good idea yeah and then the back is like a spoon tail and it's sort of scooping up some of the ice cream. Mm -hmm. And then the feet are plates. And I made this chow after, well, um, you know what, GW1 can tell you about it. But I made it just to see if I could really make a chow out of all kinds of different things. Because I used to do that. Well, not all kinds of different things, but like things that chow don't actually have in the game. So I... I made that, and I used to do that, so I decided to make that. And you can talk about it more when you get to your chow. Thank you. Okay, so when we have this one, you prob if you've seen the previous videos, you probably remember I make a lot of these. But the latest one I made, it was really sloppy, so I have this one. It's just a blue pumpkin head chow with blue wings, blue arms, not mixed color feet anymore, because go clone suggested I didn't do that and black body and eyes basically um, it I really like making those but they don't really look like chow they look like chow thanks except for you could put the dot like you I could put it on top of the stem I know but um okay wait was that the same as the other one that you made um no the other one was little different. It was light blue except it was really, like, the head was all squishy and the arms were uneven and the wings were all yeah. wrinkly. Mm -hmm. That was okay. the last video with the chow. Well, I have to continue this. Keep going. So, I made a supersonic chow and it, it's not really, like, the best but it's not, like, the worst one either. It's average. It's pretty good, though. I like it. And I just made it so that I could have it in the video, because I need to have a chow in this video. So I made some. So I made that. And I think it might... Yeah. It's, um... I think it's pretty to scale with the 5-inch classic Sonic figure that I have. So, yeah. And... I don't really know if anyone has this already, but it didn't seem like anyone else on YouTube really found this, so I don't know, but my target had it, so if you guys only looked at GameStop, that's probably why you didn't find it. But yeah, so it's to scale with that. And Alright, so now me. And just so you know, the rest of my figures in this video don't really stand up anymore. But this one is a fruit chow, like, the head is a watermelon, and, like, <laughs> the mouth is, like, the it's like, slice. Um, yeah, I think that's what the watermelon chow have in the game. 
I think so, too. Yeah. I forgot about that. Oh. And the eyes, if you can see, they're purple. Those mm -hmm. are for grapes. They're not the actually watermelon chow. They're more of, like, watermelon wearing, hats. uh, yeah. The other hats. Hats. And the torso is in orange. Mm -hmm. The feet, they're strawberries, but they're not very good. You should just change them to watermelon. <laughs> the arms are bananas. I already have a watermelon, though. No, like, you should just put... Yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> and the wings, they're, they're pineapples. They resemble pineapples, but, um, you know, they don't really look like pineapples. And the thing about this chow is during or after I was making this chow... It was after. Okay, after I made this chow... Go clone made the utensil chow. She said she was gonna use it to eat my fruit <laughs> chow. So leave me alone. It was a joke. I know, but yeah, cause um, I thought since she made the fruit chow, I could make a utensil chow, cause that would be pretty neat. That's eating ice cream. Yeah, well, he's made of ice cream. Yeah. And the utensils are eating him. No. You're such a pleasant okay, person. and then. My next chow is just this pumpkin chow, and there's nothing real too special about it. It has a pretty neat tail that's, like, hard to see in the video. And then the wings are leaves, and the head's just, like, a pumpkin, and the body is blue. I think it's pretty good. And the arms and hands are orange and then they have these spikes on them and the feet are orange and then I put a purple stand on it with this white part on the front so yeah I made that for this video okay. so yeah for me this next chow I had to make kind of fast because we were about to do the video so it's kind of sloppy but this chow is a basketball chow basketball for the head I had to put an orange thing under the eyes so you could see the eyes. The basketball net is the torso. Mixed colored feet. I like the mixed color so I did it anyway. It looks pretty good. <laughs> Black arms and orange wings. And yeah. Okay. And the last towel that we're going to show you is a chow that I made, and it's a shadow chow, so, yeah, it, it looks pretty good, you know, for something this small, because it's only like an inch tall, but it's still pretty nice, you know, and, yeah, it, it looks pretty good, here, I'll, I'll show you it next to shadow, um, Here, I'll zoom in, too. So, yeah. As you can see, it's, like, to scale with the figure by Jazzwares. Here. So, yeah. And I just got this shadow. And I'm pretty sure you watched the unboxing of it if you didn't go to my channel and watch it. So, ciao. It's pretty neat. I'm going to use it in the stop motion series that I'm making, and I've decided that I'll make the stop motion series. Yeah, I, I don't know when I'm going to end up making it, but I know that I'm going to eventually start it. So, yeah, and I'm going to use the shadow chow in it. So, um, what? Zoom out so they can see it. Oh, yeah, zoom out. I turn it. That's perfect. Good. Yeah, so, um, and then, if you guys like watching reviews that I've done, um, G Dobby one mm -hmm. and I are going to be doing a review on the classic Sonic 5-inch figure by Jazzwares. Fun. Yeah, fun stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and... Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time.